On the World Cafe, that was Chickamauga, a track from the major label debut of Uncle Tupelo, an album called Anadyne. On the World Cafe, that was Chickamauga, a track from the major label debut of Uncle Tupelo, an album called Anodyne that critics have been swooning over for quite some time now, listeners too. Uncle Tupelo are here with us on the World Cafe today, and they are on guitar, mandolin, and vocals, Jay Farrar. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Jeff Tweedy on guitar and vocals. Hi. <laughs> John Stewart on guitar. Hi. Ken Coomer on drums and suitcase today. Hello. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, Max Johnston on fiddle and mandolin. Hello. Welcome to the World Cafe. I know you and Jeff and Jay have been together, what, since high school playing? Yeah. Yeah. So. Were you fans of country music then, too? Uh, yeah. I was, you know, it's, it was just part of uh, the environment we're in, I guess. Friends, relatives, uh, but I don't know how much it really became reflected in the songs we were writing until probably more recently. Well, there's a song on on Anodyne that is kind of, I guess, in a way, the title anyway is a tribute to that great music publishing institution of country music. Mm. A Cuff Rose. Yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's a tribute. But. You want to set it up? You guys gonna play it? Yeah, we'll we'll just play it. Okay. <clears throat> Uncle Tupelo on the World Cafe, live in the studio today. Now, Jeff, you were saying before that you don't perceive that your music changed from one kind of music to another abruptly, but certainly your last couple of albums are, have a different sound and feel from the first couple that you did. And what has it done for you to bring more country and traditional influences into the music? 
the records might have a different feel and everything, but we felt like that was something that we were always trying to do a little bit, you know. Uh, like there's a Carter family song on the first record, and there's pedal steel on the first record. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't, you know, a real conscious effort to change. It was just maybe, I don't know, in heavier doses. More of a focus on <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Um, Want to do uh, pick another of your favorite songs from the album? And All right. <clears throat> away Carried it this far Got the west side winds to keep it steady Bury the hatchets we find Could carry that heavy load I really thought it wouldn't matter Farcical hair appears as a blind side. Clean the slate, working the halls of shame. Lay it down in full view, lay it down. What the hell were we thinking before the fire? Can't find you now. I didn't know you then. Loneliness drinks the bitters till the cold winds warm again. It's a open wide screams and hollers working the halls of shame lay it down in full view lay it down Gambled once and won, never made a dollar. And beauty fades to gray. And I hope the very best will guard her and provide the way. There's a telltale sign when his chair's up. Time to go working the halls of shame. Lay it down in full view. Lay it down. Slate from Uncle Tupelo, our guest today on the World Cafe with Jay Ferrar on the vocals this time around. What's that song about? Uh, it's not real straightforward. Lyrically, uh, this is true. It's more or less impressions, I guess. Of? <laughs> <laughs> well, the line about working in the halls of shame, I guess that's sort of referring to being on a major label for the first time and the uncertainty that goes along with that. Now, that album before this one was produced by Peter Buck of REM. How'd you hook up with him? Uh, he had come out to see us play a couple times in Athens, Georgia, at the 40 Watt Club. and We met him there, and he said he wanted to work with us at some point. And was it partly his influence that took you in this direction of recording that way? Mm. Or were you just doing that anyway? Uh, yeah, I don't think it was really his influence. He, he allowed us to do it live. We, we went in are basically live. It was the first time we'd done it like that with the March record, but 
It was our idea. <laughs> I mean, he, he, is, he is kind of an advocate of live recording, I believe, even though I don't think R.E.M. does too much of it. I don't Not know. Unless quick track is on. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I think it's time for a song. <laughs> what do you say? Okay. You want to do High Water? Sure. <laughs> To the blinding sun Racing for Final word To come Facing up is hard The state devout I can't see The sand And it's running out It's running out We quote each other Only when we're wrong Tear out the threads Move along Can't seem to find I can't see the sand and it's running out. There's only circumstances. What is the difference? Gets in the way. No race is run in this direction. You can break even. You can't. The Uncle Tupelo in the studio today in the World Cafe. That's High Water from their album, Anodyne. Anodyne is, means a painkiller, is that right? Uh, Something yeah, like that? it's kind of a nonspecific term for painkiller, I guess. There's a great song on the album that Doug Somm joins you on, which must have been fun. Oh, yeah, yeah say that's Doug's an understatement. Blast. <laughs> Was he one of your inspirations from way back? I mean, did you listen to his stuff? 
always been a fan of everything he's done. Yeah. Well, what a great thing to have him be there with you. Yeah, no, it was. That, that was. We were really lucky. And the result was great too. You want to try it without Doug's song? <laughs> I'll do his okay, part. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. This was fun. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all take care, and we'll be right back here on the World Cafe. <laughs> um.